Hello fellow developers, this is Andrew Tokin and today we will take a look at 10 cool features that are coming with new Xcode 15. New Xcode has officially came out today bringing a lot of useful features and some design changes. So let's dive in and take a look what's new. Installation process. Install just the platforms you need. When downloading new Xcode, you will see new pop-up that allows you to select what platforms you want to install now instead of downloading all at once. macOS is selected by default, everything else you can just uncheck and install later. Swift Data When creating a new project under Storage Options, you will notice new option called Swift Data. That's new way of using persistent storage designed to work perfectly with Swift UI. We will take a closer look at Swift Data in future series on this channel. Documentation Preview your documents in real time. To look for new document preview, just go to Editor and select Assistant. In the drop-down, select Document Preview. Preview changes Xcode 15 brings us a streamlined syntax for previews. Now you can use hash preview macro to render Swift UI code in Canvas. To change the device in Canvas, you have a preview device button where you can easily select a desired device. Another great thing is that preview now works with UI kit as well. Grayed out build conditionals. When you write conditional build conditions, Xcode will gray out the unselected ones to give you more understanding what code is currently in use. As you can see, we have if debug condition and debug mode is currently enabled, therefore the code for release mode is currently grayed out. Asset catalog enhancements. This is a great feature that makes SwiftGen library obsolete. When you add an image into an asset catalog, Xcode creates an inner value with the file name, so you don't need to write the strings with potential typing errors. This works with images and colors too. So currently we are getting images using its string values, but in new Xcode we could use them using dot syntax. Also, let's add a colors to rounded rectangles. Suggested corner radius. Views with corner radius now get a default value according to the context where the view itself is presented in order to get a pleasant value. Also, in Swift UI, Apple has removed the limit of 10 views you could put inside of a stack. So now, if you wanted to put more views, you can do that. Bookmarks. If you want to remember the place to come back later on, now you could use bookmarks for that. Just right-click on your code and select to bookmark a file or a specific line. Under the navigators, you will find new tab where you can find the bookmarks you saved and come back later on. String Catalogs Xcode 15 introduces a new way to localize text. A catalog is a file that contains all the languages of your app and auto-updates itself every time you compile your project adding or removing all the strings that needed to be localized. Just add a string localized in UIKit or just a regular string to a Swift UI view, compile and it's done. Here we have a simple view with the two strings. Now let's try to create a string catalog for our project. In order to do that, hit Command N to create new file and scroll down until you find string catalog. Hit next, we'll call it localizable and hit create. I've added another language to my project file but as you can see, the string catalog is empty now. 
But now let's try to build our project. As soon as you build your project, you'll get all the strings you use across your project inside of the string catalog. And if you switch to another language you want to have localized into, you will see the status of every string. As you can see, it's new because neither of those strings were localized. And also you will find a percentage of the string you localized. Vision Pro. Starting from Xcode 15 Beta 2, you can access new simulator for Vision OS to test your app for upcoming Vision Pro virtual reality device. Those are just a few noticeable changes I'd like to show you today. If you go to Apple Developer website and look for release notes, you will see a ton more features and changes that are coming with new Xcode. At some of those changes that are connected with new Swift 5.9 that comes with Xcode 15, we'll take a look in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.